we were very lucky. The forecast looked fantastic for a great quick trip across the Atlantic, uh, starting at the New York Yacht Club. Great turnout and um, quite a good fleet. A very diverse fleet from uh, you know tiny class 40s through classics to huge uh, super maxis. Um, and obviously we had this great forecast, but things changed along the way and we had to adapt to those conditions. Very tight racing between us at Nomad 4 in particular. And uh, to catch up with the uh, ship of 1915, I think it's Mariette. Uh, lovely boat, we never got a chance to see her uh, because we passed her at night. But uh, it's very tight with the three of us at the head of the fleet. The whole crew works so well together, both before the race, because as you know, these things don't happen without a lot of preparation. Will Finley is absolutely the best boat captain in the world for this kind of racing, and uh, he did a great job getting us ready. Having two Volvo veterans on board are great. Four New York Yacht Club members, so we're happy to have brought a, a fine crew, and everybody performed to the highest level. I grew up as a golfer. This is, in my view, uh, one that we prepared a lifetime for, and uh, this is, to me, like the masters in golf. So it's humbling to be able to have such a good crew perform as high as they did to get us to this spot. So it's, uh, uh, it's going to take a long time to take it in. First of all, it's great to be here. Trust me, we, we've spent a lot of time planning to, to be here and to make it, and uh, it was a great passage. Quick, uh, amazingly warm, because we took the southern route. Uh, flatter seas than I've ever had in any of the crossings I've been on. And uh, it, it went incredibly well. We, we unfortunately had a few challenges along the way, but still second across the line is, is a, given all the problems we had, it's a great finish. Until we were going downwind, which is not what this boat's made for, we were made for the fast reaching. It, it's, we couldn't keep up with Lucky or barely keep up with the downwind uh, air. And when it got light, there was just not a shot, but we gave it everything we could. Tell us about the, uh, the, the failures that you had. The power pushing all of our hydraulics failed and the backup power to that failed as well. So we were to back to old fashioned manhandling. So uh, it's 15 stories to put a sail up. And to do that by hand uh, is hard, much less in, in, in open seas. So it was hard and you had to, we had to trim, use a, a man-made traveler, a man-made main sheet and a uh, man-made boom bang all to trim the main, it's hard. We were changing the wheels on the car going 60 miles an hour. So we created a whole new way to trim the boat while we had to sail the boat without any hydraulics. So people pulling together, great fun, and the humor to have the Aussies and the Brit and the Irish all in one boat makes it pretty fun.